Today, we'll explore the jungle. So get ready to explore where there's plants growing everywhere, there's animals running wild, and we've gotta be really aware when we explore the wild jungle. In the jungle, it's really hot and humid. We can make that same kind of air with our breath. We're gonna fog up the whole place because it's so hot and humid. So big breath in. If you wanna do this in front of a window or a mirror, you'll even see your breath on the window or the mirror. And it'll get foggy and you can draw pictures into it. Let's try to make the camera really foggy. Ready? Here we go. Good work. Now we did our breath and we know what the air is like in the jungle, we're ready to explore. First things first, we have to get our senses ready. We have to be very aware of our surroundings. So start by sitting up really tall and open up your eyes really wide, but hold your head super still, super, super still, and see if you can look all around. Can you look to the side without moving your head? Look to the sky without moving your head? Look to the other side without moving your head and look all the way down. And let's see if we can look in all directions without moving our heads. See how far you can see. Now we gotta use our heads to help us see further. So look really far over to the side and turn your head. Now let's look all the way over to the other side. We can see a lot farther when we can move our head. Look up at the sky. I'll make some really big circles, look down towards the ground. Ooh, it's a lot easier to see when we can move our heads and our eyes at the same time, right? <laughs> Good job. Next, we've got to warm up our taste, our taste senses. Okay, so Wolf's stretching out his lips so he can be ready to taste. So let's stick our tongues out really far and wiggle it over to the side. Another to the other side and make all sorts of circles and shapes with your tongue. <laughs> Can you open your mouth really big and stretch your mouth open really wide? Ah, good work. Now we have to warm up our hearing senses. Grab your ears and stretch your ears out. Stretch your ears out. Oh. Warm up our sense of smell. So wiggle your nose. Can you make your nostrils get bigger and smaller like this? Can you look at your nose? <laughs> okay, now we've got to take, we've got to start smelling. I'm going to smell wolf. What is he smelling? Mmm, you smell good. What does my foot smell like? Mmm, that doesn't smell very good. You know when you look this way? What do you, what do you smell? Right in front of you, but you can actually see it. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to see your nose. Okay, what do you smell? All right, we've got one more. We've got our sense of touch. Okay, so we can touch with our hands, but we can also feel all around our body. Feel your legs your belly and your hips and your arms and some creatures yeah and your nose some creatures like to feel with their bellies on the ground can you think of an animal that would feel with its belly snake. on the ground oh like a snake so let's slither like snakes oh can you slither like a snake going all the way and snakes they also like to smell with their tongues. Can you smell like a snake? Smell like a snake? Good work. Now snakes, they also like to squeeze sometimes. There's some squeezing snakes. So let's try. We'll pretend to be a constriction snake that squeezes really tight. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> 
He got me. Now I'm going to get him. Here we go. Squeeze. <laughs> got him. Okay, now we'll do a snake stretching pose. Ready? Can you lay on your belly like a snake? I'm going to help you stretch. Wolf's going to turn into a flying snake. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to lift you up. Keep your legs down. Keep your legs down. Here we go. He's a flying snake. Woohoo! <laughs> Good job. Awesome work. Okay, let's think of other creatures that have to use their senses while they're going through the jungle. The next one I can think of is a jaguar. Okay, so jaguars, they have to use their senses to feel the ground, to smell the air, and listen really carefully. And they're really quiet. They're really quiet and sneaky and good at balancing. We're gonna bounce like a jaguar. Come here, can you go like this? Now to be like a jaguar, we have to get ready to pounce and land really, really softly without making a sound. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, so quiet. Oh, so quiet. Good job, let's try it one more time. Ready? Pounce and jump really quiet. Good work. So now grab your partner and Wolf, he has to practice his Jaguar balancing skills to balance on my shins and on my hands. So he'll put his feet on my shins. Yeah. Okay, balance really carefully. Oh, now Jaguars, they have to use their really good balancing. They have to use really, really careful balancing so they don't fall off the trees. And then what do they do when they're ready to attack? What do they do? Okay, what does that look like? You want to try? No. You don't want to try? That's okay. Whoa! The jaguar pounce! Next is a monkey. So monkeys, they have furry skin, or they have fur on their skin, right? And they like to stand up. Wolf's gonna be my baby monkey, and I'm gonna have my knees out wide, but they also have a tail. So monkeys, they work together, and they like to try to get the bugs off of each other. Mm. The they, like to, they, they like to hold hands to hands so they don't fall off the trees. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, don't fall off. Don't fall off that. Monkeys also like to eat the bugs off of each other. Mmm, <laughs> you have tasty bugs. Mmm. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> get the bugs off. <laughs> Oh wait, I don't want to eat a foot, I want to eat a bug. <laughs> and what kind of sounds do monkeys make? <laughs> what about the gorillas? What kind of sounds do gorillas make? Oh. <laughs> so all the monkeys, they sound so different, but that's how they communicate with each other. They have to use their ears in the jungle so they can carefully hear one another. And they've got to use their tails, pretend my leg is a tail, to hold onto the tree branches so they don't fall off the trees. <laughs> and they have to use their fingers to eat the bugs. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, you gotta get the bugs off of me too. Good job. Now we'll pretend to be a big jungle tarantula and you need your buddy for this one. You'll both get into downward facing dog and one partner will get under the next one and we'll have eight legs. Oh, Wolf has a lot to go through. We'll have eight legs together and see if you can walk together. Can you walk with me this way? You gotta walk together to get to where you need to go. Now tarantulas, let's walk backwards. They use their little fur on their legs to feel the vibrations in the earth. And then they have to use their bodies to spin webs. Can you lift a leg up in the air and spin a web? Spin your web, good job. Now what happens when the tarantula has to catch its prey? What does it do? It doesn't catch it, it just makes a web. Well, what are these little things that come right here? What do they do with these? <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna catch Wolf in my web and then I'm gonna use my pinchers. <laughs> Got him! Get your pinchers! <laughs> oh no, he caught 
me. Next is a beautiful bird of paradise, a bird that has big colorful wings and they have feathers on their skin instead of scales or fur. So let's stand up kind of part way. You ready to try this one? It's a little bit tricky. It's gonna take some good balancing. Bring your arm underneath your leg and see if you can catch your hand and then try to balance and lift your leg up into the sky. Lift your leg up and flap your wing. Flap, flap. Flap your wing, flap, flap. <laughs> That's okay, everybody's bird of paradise looks kind of different. Let's try the other side, okay? On the other side, we're gonna bring our wing up high and flap our wing, whoa! And the birds of paradise, they like to make beautiful sounds together. What kind of sounds can you make that's like a bird? Oh, beautiful. And they like to dance at each other with their flappy wings. Can you dance like a bird? Oh, he's dancing at me. Don't worry, we'll do more dancing in a little bit. So now we've explored our senses and explored different senses that animals have. Now it's time to get ready for our story. Get back to back with your partner so that you can feel each other breathing. So the purpose of this is to take big breaths and see if you can feel the breath into your back of your partner. We're gonna use our senses to feel each other breathe and then we'll use some different sounds while we're breathing. We'll take turns. I'm gonna make a sound, ready? See if you can feel it with your back. That's a crazy sound. Okay, I'm gonna try another one. Wait, be really quiet, really quiet, really quiet. Really quiet, here we go. Oh. Your turn. Sometimes if you need help getting your backs connected more, you can hook elbows like this. Ready? Ooh, nice work. Now very last, last but not least, let's just breathe together really quietly. Big breath in together. Okay, story time. Once upon a time, there was a snake that slithered through the jungle. So get onto your belly. Wolf has a snake he's gonna slither with for this. Get onto your belly and start slithering around the room like a snake. Maybe you're on your belly flat or maybe you're up high like this, but start to slither around the room. Really imagine that you are a snake slithering through the jungle who has to go over so many different rocks and branches and trees that have fallen down and leaves on the ground and you feel it everywhere and you're feeling it all with your belly. And you stick your tongue out to smell the air. Keep slithering around the room. Slither around the jungle. Feel the crazy bumps all over the jungle floor. Feel what it feels like to feel the earth with your belly and smell the air with your tongue. Sometimes the jungle gets really, really crazy on the ground because there's so many things. So one day, the snake that was slithering across the jungle floor looked up at the sky one day and thought, is there an easier way for me to get through the jungle floor? So the snake stretched really high up into the sky. Can you stretch high up into the sky and look really tall into the air? And look up at the birds flying overhead. Oh, beautiful. They're so nice and they can fly so high they don't have to slither over all those tricky rocks. So we decide, what's the difference between a snake and a bird? Snakes can't fly, birds can't slither. But what do birds have that snakes don't? Wings. Birds have wings and what's on their wings? Feathers. They have feathers. 
So the snake realized, I don't have any feathers, so maybe if I collect some feathers, I'll be able to fly. What do you think? Should we collect some feathers and fly? Okay, here we go. So the, the snake sees some falcons flying in the air and they balance really carefully through the sky and spread their wings really, really wide. And sometimes the mommy falcons or the daddy falcons have to help the baby falcons balance. And they fly and fly until it's time to dive down, dive down. And the snake watches the falcons as they dive through the air. So the falcons fly and they dive one more time. And guess what? A feather falls from the sky. And the snake catches it. So get like a snake and catch it with your mouth because you don't have any arms, right? And the snake got one feather. Now we need a couple more. Okay, the snake slithers around a little bit more. Slither, slither on the ground. Slither where you are, we gotta look for another bird. Slither like a snake to get to where you need to go. Oh, and he sees another one. So the snake sees a parrot in the sky. Now this one's tricky. We've gotta put our parrot feet, we're gonna pretend our hands are parrot feet and our feet are gonna be the wings. Put your parrot feet on the ground and the parrot is balancing on a branch. Can you try to balance and put your knees on the back of your arms and maybe lift one foot up and then the other one? Try to balance like a parrot on the branch. Oh, and flap those wings. I know it's tricky to be a parrot. The parrot has to be good at hiding. And the parrot likes to talk. What do you think the parrot likes to say? Boop, boop. I'm a parrot. Hello. They, they can actually talk like you. Yeah, they do. They can talk like humans. Can you talk like a human while you balance? Oh. Hello. 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 Hi, hi, hi. And guess what? That parrot lost a feather while it was balancing. We gotta catch it. Get ready to catch it before it touches the ground. Get ready to catch it. Oh, catch that feather. Okay, now we've got two feathers. Two feathers. Now it's time to slither around to go find our other bird. Let's slither, slither. Slither, slither, find where you gotta go. So we're slithering through and we gotta find our last bird. Here we go. Oh, there's a, what is it? What color is it? Oh, a pink flamingo. Okay, there's a whole flamboyance of flamingos. Now, and the flamingos, remember, they balance on one leg and they reach down to eat their food. Oh, they reach down into the water to get their food and then they fly away as a whole flock. Flap your wings. Flap your wings and fly away. And as they flew away, what fell? A feather. A pink feather. Okay, it's falling. Falling, we gotta catch it with our mouths. Get ready. Get ready to get in your snake pose. Oh, catch it, ready? Catch it, catch it. Okay, so how many feathers do we have now? How many feathers do we have? Three. We have three feathers. Okay, time for our very last one. So we slither, oh, and we saw one more, and this time it's a beautiful swan with a long white neck. So that beautiful swan, they like to have, they like to float on the water with their wings spread out nicely and then they like to reach with their neck. So pretend your leg in the back is your swan neck and they have their beautiful, they have their beautiful wings that they make beautiful shapes with. Oh, beautiful. And maybe if you're with your swing buddy, you can give a high five. Oh yeah. Let's switch sides. Gotta get our other, our other swan wing. We've gotta get our swan wing ready float on that water. So the swan has to stretch its beautiful long neck while it floats in the water. So stick your swan neck up, reach back for that swan neck, bring your beautiful wing up into the sky. Oh, and as it was stretching its beautiful swan neck, guess what floated down into the water? Oh, <gasps> Some feathers fell down uh, and we've got to grab them. We've got to slither over to the water because it's floating. It. Let's grab a hundred. I'm on Slither over to the water. Let's grab them. Mmm, perfect. Now, 
We have, I have feathers. all the feathers we need. You can have anywhere between four feathers and a hundred feathers. So we have to try to fly now. So let's slither. Let's slither really fast. Slither really fast and let's see if we can start flying. Slither really fast and see if you can start flying. Reach back, put, bend your knees, reach back for your legs. And guess what? The snake is gonna start flying. Reach back for your ankles, okay? And he's gonna start flying. Here he goes. <laughs> he flew, the snake was flying. The dream came true. The snake could fly forever. Should we make this snake fly? Let's, toss him up in the air. Let's make the snake fly. Ready, set, go! Move. Woo! <laughs> beautiful work, everybody. That was so fun. Now we're a snake with beautiful feathers. Thanks, birds, for sharing your feathers with us. Now that the snake has feathers and is able to fly, they'll join a group of birds who have to hide from the bigger birds or the prey animals. So grab a blanket. Put the blanket around your arms like beautiful bird wings, okay? And I'll be the mama bird, Wolf's gonna be the baby bird. We'll fly around and we have to hide as soon as we hear something that we might need to hide from, okay? And we'll hide together and use our wings as one so we can hide beneath it. Let's flap around like we're flapping around the jungle, exploring through the wild. I hear something, we gotta hide, hurry. Oh, hide, hide, hide. Okay, I think the coast is clear. Let's start flying again. So they have to fly around and be really quiet as they go through. They have to be really sneaky. They have to be really sneaky and keep their ears out. Oh no, hide, hide, hide. Hide, hide. hide. We gotta stay hidden. Oh, okay. Let's keep going one more time. I think the coast is clear. I think the coast is clear. Let's hide. Flap your wings. Flap your wings. Oh no, hide, hide, hide. Oh, good. Oh my goodness. Okay, we made it to a place where the coast is clear. Now it's time for a bird dance party because birds like to have dances at each other and we take turns showing each other different dance moves. So Wolf, what's your dance move? I'm gonna copy it after you do it. Ooh. Okay, what else? What is another dance move? What's another one? Oh, beautiful. I like that, this twirling one. Okay, you ready to copy mine? Yeah. Here we go. Can you do that? <laughs> nice work. One more, here we go. How about this one? Okay, let's see your dance move. What's your bird dance move? Ooh, I like that one. Birds dance all sorts of different ways and they like to try to get each other's attention. Now that the dancing is all over, it's time for the birds to lay down in their nests. So now all the birds are resting safely in their nests and it's time to fully relax. But sometimes the birds can feel a little bit nervous while they're in their nests. So they might squeeze their wings, squeeze your hands really tight. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. And then we gotta relax and take a big breath. And relax your hands, relax your wings. And sometimes they feel really tense in their feet. So squeeze your toes, squeeze your toes and squeeze your feet. Squeeze them really, really, really tight. And take a breath and relax. And sometimes they feel really tense in their bellies and in their face. So squeeze, squeeze everything really, really tight, really tight. And take a big breath. And relax. And now we're ready to rest nice and safely in our bird nest. Safe from all of the wild things in the jungle, but still able to appreciate the beauty of it the entire time. So take some nice rests, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. See you later. See you later, alligator.